So my dad gave me this uh, thing. It's called a, a assault gun. It uh, looks like a little Nerf gun, except it shoots. It's pump action. It shoots little sprays of salt like a like a shotgun. And it's meant to shoot little little bugs. And I'm starting to develop a problem. Uh, I will go the same way people will go outside and or go inside. And, and play Call of Duty for three hours straight. You'll find me outside in my backyard for three hours at a time, just sitting down like a five-year-old, blasting away at flies, laughing to myself like an insane person. I need help. Welcome to Rumble Book Club. I'm your host, Mike Hernandez, and this is the show where a normal guy like me can talk about interesting books I've read, old and new, good and bad. So if you like the show, you like the content, or maybe you just like hearing about weirdos laughing to themselves, blasting away at flies. Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. You can follow me on Twitter, Parlor, and TikTok, and you can subscribe right down below on YouTube and Rumble. But more importantly, be a part of the conversation. Share these videos with your friends. Let me know if there's any books you want me to read. And uh, I might even add them to the list, uh, do a, a video about them and give you a shout out for recommending me to a good book. Help this channel grow, help us reach more people and get more people reading books because that's the whole point of this channel. Today we're going to cover an awesome book that I actually just finished reading last night. I'm real excited. Uh, I was actually really excited to finish it because now I get to share it with you. Today we're going to take a look at Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. In this book, Willink and Babin combined their years and years of experience as Navy SEALs who served multiple tours in wars in Iraq and Afghanistan to tell some of the lessons of leadership that they learned and how they can be applied in the business world. We're gonna take a look at our three-part criteria, starting with the aesthetics, what the book looks like, how it pops off the shelf, moving into the readability, uh, how it reads um, you know, physically and mentally for just a normal guy like me trying to, trying to read it, and then finally getting into the content, what it's like between the covers, what kind of material is it actually giving you. Now let's get started with the aesthetics. It's a fairly plain uh, black cover with a little, little red band here, mainly because this is a, uh, a reprint, this is not the original printing. Uh, this is an add-on. Uh, there is some silver and white lettering, you know, not, not too crazy. The colors can get a, a tiny bit flashy as far as just this sheen, uh, this natural sheen of the silver. Uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I think it, it ties in with the military theme of it. Uh, it is a good size, a book for the thickness, so it, it fits really well in your hands. Um, you know, you can walk around, read it, and tear, tuck it into a book bag. So uh, aesthetically, I'm gonna rate it a very strong eight out of 10. Now let's look at the readability. Now let's look at the readability. Willink and Babin write clearly and tell stories of battle and tie those stories in with the leadership concept and then a story from the business world, how it's applied. The formula is simple and it allows the reader to recognize the pattern, which makes it easy to learn quickly. You kind of feel a little bit like you're in a classroom setting without the boringness of a classroom setting because the stories you're getting are pretty action packed. It can get a little bit hard for just a normal guy like me that's never served in the military um, to, to keep track of all the different terminology, all the acronyms and the titles of different military units and weapons, but um, Jocko and, and Leaf do a really good job breaking it down every single time one of these pieces of information is introduced, even if it's introduced multiple times, uh, and, and it helps you to, to kind of get the gist of it and get comfortable with that terminology. As for the physically how it reads, uh, he, they have off-white pages. They use uh, relatively thin off-white pages. Uh, the margins are, are, are a little bit trim, but the, the printing is bold. They use, uh, uh, they have a really good photo bank um, throughout the book that makes, that allows those concepts. So you really get a, a good idea of what they're talking about. So it's, uh, it definitely helps with the readability physically on your eyes. So as for the readability, I'm gonna rate it a very strong eight out of 10. Now let's take a look at the content. Jocko and Leaf tell many stories about what life is like as a SEAL. Uh, everything from planning a mission up and down the chain of command to, to role playing to make sure everyone's in the right place and they've got it down to a science and preparing their gear, preparing everything, the mapping, the routing, the, 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 the intel, and then the execution of the mission and then uh, planning how to come back, how to, um, how to cover each other as you're coming back to base. They discuss themes ranging from over communication, making sure everyone 100% is on the same page and there's zero confusion at all times, 
uh, and, and belief in the mission from leaders. And that doesn't mean blindly following orders. It means uh, if, you're, if there's something about the mission, about the job, whether that's in the military or in the business world that you're not sure about, ask questions until you 100% understand it and then can 100% uh, believe in it as a means to accomplish the mission that you're all trying to accomplish. They talk about taking ownership of failure, even if uh, you don't initially believe that you're at fault. There's something that you didn't contribute or contributed in a negative way. Jocko really stresses that being able to take ownership of a problem, even, uh, even in that circumstance that can be difficult, is gonna earn the respect, the trust and respect to the people around you, particularly the people below you. He uses an example that if you're a leader that gives an order to uh, a subordinate, and they don't execute. Maybe they fail at what they were trying to accomplish. You can't just go and rip them up and, and blame them that something went wrong. You have to self-evaluate. You have to say, look, maybe there's something that I didn't explain right. Maybe I didn't get you to believe in the mission well enough to, make, to where maybe your heart wasn't in it. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe I wasn't as short, simple, and to the point in what I was trying to, uh, to convey to you. Jocko and Leaf show you how these lessons got learned the hard way in battle overseas, and then how they taught these concepts to leaders in the corporate world, as well as how those lessons were applied in that business setting, and then the success that those businesses were able to gain from using those messages. So one of the parts that really stuck out to me was um, <clears throat> a small personal note that Jocko uh, made about waking up early. He wakes up famously at, uh, I think it's like four o'clock in the morning, t takes a snapshot of his his, uh, his, his alarm clock, as soon as he wakes up, posts it on social media, boom, he's accountable, he's up. What he really underlines in the book though, is that getting up is your first challenge of the day. It's your first test that you can pass to get your day started. When that alarm clock goes off, and in Jocko's case, he sets three alarms, one, uh, one electric, one battery powered and then one crank. That way he's guaranteed. There's no excuses for missing that alarm. But one way or the other, when that alarm goes off, you have a choice right there from your, from your waking moments. Do you go back to bed and fail that first test or do you get your ass out of bed and get your day started off on a victory? So reading that really uh, is, is something that, that I wanna use to, to apply to my own life. Getting out of bed can be an absolute pain, but, but when I went over those, uh, those words by Jocko, man, I just, I felt pumped, ah! I'm gonna wake up at three! Maybe not three, maybe four, 4.30, maybe five. Also, there's a really good uh, Q&A section at the end, uh, at, at the very back, um, from uh, at the, the Jocko's uh, own po podcast that he runs, and that's really helpful as well. Uh, as far as the content goes, this is a perfect 10 out of 10. I found this book at Barnes & Noble. Uh, you can find it at any any local bookstore. I actually got the book recommended to me over the radio uh, on the, the Michael Berry Show, which is a, a local Houston network. If, if worse comes to worse and your local bookstore happens to be cleared out, you can get it online at Amazon or eBay. The book is Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. Go ahead and get yourself a copy. Thanks for watching, everybody. And go read something.